What do you swear you saw, but don't have any proof of? Mystery of stuff. I was snorkeling in Hawaii once, and I swear I saw something that looked like a clear chameleon, but as soon as I got close it buried itself in the sand. I still vividly remember discovering a new species. When I was around 10 years old I went down to a lake when I was on holiday. When I get down there I vividly remember a massive ball of lightning just hovering, and then it struck the middle of the lake. I never ran so fast in my life back to the lit house we were staying in. When I was 10 we had a 14-year-old German shepherd who was getting very sick. I was home alone momentarily as my mom went to the neighbors to pick up a book or something. Our German shepherd came over, convinced me to walk outside with him, and started licking my hands, looked at me, and ran away jumping the fence, and he never came back. He was so loyal and good that to this day Noon believes me and thinks he was stolen because he would never leave. I'm almost certain he did that because he didn't want us to see him die, and he wanted to go to the massive forest area and do his thing. I miss you buddy. Edit, while wow, some amazing replies here. I'm glad to know all our pets love us in this way, and that they care like they do. Much love. Edit 2, those of you wondering why Noon believes a kid on something that does happen a lot was that we lived in Iran at the time and the dogs, especially rare purebreds, were usually stolen so my family thought it was a result of that. Had a pet cat that was nearing the end, was 19 or so years old at the time. After being particularly weak for a time, she disappeared for a few days, and my parents told me she probably went somewhere to die as cats often do. But then she showed up again after a few days, and that afternoon I pet her for hours and hours on my lap while reading Harry Potter. The next morning my parents woke me up to let me know she had passed away peacefully in her sleep on her heater bed. I still cherish that I got to say goodbye. I've had glasses since the third grade. I was playing tackle football with friends after school, I wasn't wearing glasses, tackled one of my friends, really big collision, for a second I regained full eyesight, then I blinked, and it was gone again. My sister and I both had this before. It is often unprovoked and a rare occurrence. We just blink and wham our vision is 20 twentieths. Then we blink too soon and it's over. I remember grocery shopping with my mother once when I was about 13, and I blinked and suddenly had perfect vision. I saw everything clearly and could read all the labeled sections in the back. I blinked and everything was blurry again. I was amazed and also extremely disappointed that it disappeared so quickly. When I was about 10 they started putting missing children on milk cartons. Every morning for a while I was looking at this boy's face on the side of the milk while I would eat my cereal. Then one day a car went down my street while I was playing outside, and there was a boy in the back seat with his face up close to the window looking out. I'm 99% sure it was the boy from the milk carton. I told my parents but they didn't believe me. Something similar happened to me. I was 5 to 6 and was playing outside with other kids. All of a sudden, those two cars stop by a sidewalk, they grab a girl on a tricycle and speed off. Only her bike was left. We ran to my mom to tell her someone got kidnapped. She was cooking, somewhat listened, nodded her head, smiled, oh, really, and that was it. I think about it often. I was at the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. I walked up to the cuttlefish tank, and for some reason all 20 or so of the cuttlefish rushed over to me. It was a big tank, maybe 10 feet long. I walked the length of it, and they followed me. I walked back, and they followed. A few other people saw and tried it themselves. But alas, the cuttlefish only had eyes for me. My best guess as to the cause was that the guy who feeds them is my doppelganger. Could have been the color of your shirt as well. I work at an aquarium and as someone who wears the uniform, animals get thrilled at the sight of me often, just because of my shirt color. For month edit, I have been informed that cuttlefish are colorblind. Disregard my hypothesis. A chameleon escaped from a bag when my friend was giving it to me, and it leapt into a big pile of snow. I looked around for it for a while, but couldn't find it so I gave up. 
Several weeks later the snow all melted, and I was out there, and found the lizard partially frozen to the ground. I peeled him off and put it in one of those little plastic tanks and sat it by the radiator in my house. Within an hour or two the lizard was hopping around the cage like nothing ever happened. It lived for several years after that, and was known to my friend, and I as Jesus the resurrection lizard. One day I was looking out the window of my office and four semi-trucks drove past one after each other. They were in order Costco, Costco, Cisco, Cisco. Half the people I mention it to don't care and the other half don't believe me. Mystery of Stuff